So let's copy and paste all of this. So just grab all these nodes here. So we've got the scatter volume instances with the ball, the bake instance geometry, and the NPM cloth. And I'm just going to go Control C and Control V. And that's all going to come up there and kind of reconnect itself. But we will sort that out ourselves. So I'm just going to disconnect a couple of things. You can hold down Shift and Alt and kind of cut across like that by holding the left mouse key. Or you can just highlight them and delete them whatever you fancy so i'm going to plug the ball back into the instances because we're going to need that and we're going to bring in the next letter now which is i and i'm just going to middle mouse drag that into the graph and we'll plug that in now we could plug in our target volume ratio into the same input but you don't need to because you'll end up with like lots of wires all coming into one thing so just keep things neat and tidy i'm just going to put in a new input and all these inputs just end up in the same place anyway. So target volume ratio goes into input there. And I'll just, while I'm here, rename that to I. Hit OK. And now when I select the Bifrost graph editor, we can see that I has turned up in the channel box here. And we can animate that like we did with the first letter. So with all these guys, I'm just going to, again, put in a backdrop. So I'm just going to select this bunch of nodes here, uh, right click, create backdrop, and while the backdrop's still selected, we can just type I, and it's slightly off screen at the moment, but I know it's working. There we go, there's I, and I will just give us a bit of space, try and keep things neat and tidy. Honestly, I don't work like this all the time, <laughs> just being good for this walkthrough. But so there we go, there's our eye plumbed in. And so because we've got this scattering volume going on, let's just re rewind the simulation for a second. If we hit P here, we can see how that's going to look. That spacing is going to look inside that eye. So if I just switch on the type again, we can see the spacing that's going on. There's a little bit too much in there, too many points. So I'm going to bring that down to about 22 maybe. And it's going to be a little bit of trial and error just to see you know if this is uh, the right amount of points so let's just unplug that and plug this one in to the source so the next step is going to be some animation where we're going to offset it because we don't want our one to start at the same time as the b we want it to start kind of like midway through its animation so what we also need to take into consideration when offsetting the animation is that we need to offset our cloth source as well. So our start frame wants to be frame 10 if our start frame of the target volume ratio is gonna be frame 10 as well. So let's just select the graph and then we'll just go to frame 10 and I'm just gonna keyframe it at one and I'm gonna move forward 30 frames to frame 40 and put that up to about 200. Like I said before, these don't all have to be the same. This is just a bit of trial and error. And earlier I did have some of the smaller letters with lower, lower counts on them. And so if we rewind and play now and just turn that off, we should get the B. And then at sort of frame 10, the other ones will start to come on and start to inflate. Hopefully, let's just sort of see what size they are. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Still got this one that's not very happy up here. That might be solved by bringing our resolution down a bit. Let's just rewind and play. So sometimes by introducing more voxels into the simulation, we'll get rid of some of those small artifacts that are giving us problems. And seems to have sorted itself out, which is good. Okay, so now we've got the B and the I, and really it's just rinse and repeat for the rest of it. We're gonna offset kind of 10 frames for the start of each one. And we're just gonna go through and add, you know, make sure that our volumes are looking good inside each NPM cloth setup. And so I'll just do that now because there's not much point me going through seven letters and I'll just speed up the video and you can see how this is done.